Hey everybody, Dave Williamson, the toy car collector, just coming out of my barber shop, and oh man, do I like to get a haircut. Look at that. Look at that. I love getting a haircut. Man, I was starting to look pretty scraggly yesterday. That's why I haven't made a video in about a week, because my hair, I just don't want to look like a homeless guy when I'm making a video for you. Today's video is about Matchbox cars, and what I want to share with you is I want to share with you information about how to determine the condition of a Matchbox car and a Matchbox car's box, because what's really critical is the condition of the box. You know, the little tiny box? Yeah, that is what is important. So let's take a look at all of these Matchbox cars, and we'll give them a rating, whether it's mint, mint minus, I never use mint actually, mint minus, near mint, excellent good fair or poor and we'll check it all out on these matchbox cars and here we go now for you thanks for watching please subscribe if you haven't already check the ding the little bell so make sure you get a update whenever i post a video now i do have 413 videos in the past they're all still good today so check them out and here we go Alright everybody, let's get started on this beautiful collection of Matchbox cars and trucks. Matchbox, this is the collection that came. I actually, when I got that train collection, if you saw my last video, it was all about a big train accessory collection, some other variety of things. This was actually what I went to the fellow's house to buy, was this Matchbox collection. And then he had those trains things, so I thought, well, what the heck, I'll buy those too. Anyway... Let's start on this Matchbox lot and see exactly what we got. Uh, the most important thing with Matchbox in the boxes is that people really love mint in box, mint in box. They don't, not so much into torn boxes like this. Nobody really wants that. Uh, but what we want to see in this collection is how many of these models are mint in the original box. So let's get started opening them up one by one. All right, right off the bat, we'll start up here in the top corner with the number one. Number one, this in the e-box, the e-box, and uh, which is the most common, the most popular box because everybody had it. This box is basically a minty box. Now, when I say mint, I used to go mint minus because, you know, hey, there's a little spot there, so it's not going to be perfect. Nothing is perfect. These things are old. Let's take a look here. Oh, yeah, we got a mint truck and we got a minty box that's good now what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna have time to photo all these things today so let's just put them back in the box we won't close the lid we'll just leave it like that we'll just leave it like that put it off to the side go on to number two number two in the collection is the matchbox trailer it's nice to get the trailer and the truck together in mint condition because they do make a beautiful set and uh, trailers are a little more scarce than the trucks. And if you can see, this box is more of a near mint box. It's got a little bit of a crease there. A little bit of crease there. Let me get used to this right here. Got to stare at the phone. Careful. Okay, next one, number three. This one has water staining on the box. The other side is not too bad. So I would say this box was in excellent shape. And the piece inside is the earlier model with the decal. And it is a beautiful condition. Look at that. Isn't that a lovely model? I love this model. And it has a 55 cent sticker on the side. How cool is that? Very cool. So, uh, let's see. All right. Let's see. Mint boxes. Excellent boxes. Near mint boxes. I think I'll separate these out. Next one up is a number six in an F box. This one's torn flap on this side. So we're going to go with excellent again. That's unfortunate because the rest of the box is beautiful. Let's see how the piece is inside. All right, good shape. Uh, no, look at that. The uh, the front end is yellowed, very yellowy. So that's not good. That's not good. It's all right, but it's yellowed. Still a brand new model. It's just yellowed over time with an excellent box. So we'll put that over in the excellent file pile. Next one up is another box with some damage uh, to the face there, water damage, but one side is beautiful right there and this one has the steak truck and the steak truck is in mid condition nice condition always got to check these flaps on the back sometimes those are broken off so you want to check that before you commit let's see what shall we call this box 
Now I'm going to put it in the excellent pile because it is got the staining on the front. Next one up is a number seven waste truck. I'm going to go with near mitts. It's got a light damage there. Beautiful on one side. Truck is mint. So far all the pieces, all the models are in mint condition. Just the boxes vary from one to the next. All right. Number 11, a good good uh, scaffolding truck. Two stickers on it. Sprouse low price. 79, was 79, now 57. Got a little bend in here in the box. And so we'll go with excellent. And we have no scaffold. That's not good. That's not good. I may have some extra scaffold, but that is definitely a big negative. A big negative on a number 11. What do we decide on this box? Hmm, crease in there. Excellent box. Can we call it a near mint box or an excellent box? Oh, we got a little wear here. What's a good. Hmm, well, ah, let's just go with excellent. What the heck? Number 12 Land Rover. Number 12 Land Rover. Got a little bit of a bend in here, but no staining, so we'll go near mint on that. And we've got the blue Land Rover, which is fine. Land Rover is a very popular model. There we go. Come on. What's happening with the focus? There we are. Mm -hmm. All right. Ta-da. Ta-da. Oh, I'll just leave it like that. Blurry in the background. That's nice. All right. And what do we decide on that one? It's got a little bit of a bend, so near mint on that one. So far, so good. Number 13, there's a popular model. The number 13 matchbox, always popular. And this is a nice box here. I will go with, I will go with mint minus on it. It does have a couple little spots on it there. It's not bad. Now nah, let's go near mint. All right. This is the decal model of the truck in beautiful shape. Beautiful, beautiful. Turn it back to autofocus there. All right. And what do we decide on that? Yeah, let's go in the minty pile. All right. Number 16, the cat tractor. Look at all these spots. I didn't notice all these spots when I was buying the collection. I don't know. That's okay. Oh, look at that. Another beauty. Beautiful. So far, 100% beautiful on the models. Some difficulty on the boxes, but I have other boxes. Typically, I will match up boxes condition with the models condition. And here we go. Uh, let's see a little bends in this, but no, no coloration damage. And we've got a pink trailer. Beautiful mint condition on all these models. That's nice. And let's go near mint on that. What the heck? What the heck? All right. And number 20, taxi cab. 20 taxi cab. Look what I'm using. I'm using like a little Hot Wheels tool to open up the flap. All right, number 20, beautiful. Beautiful taxi, look at that. And the box is quite nice. Does it have a crease down here? So we'll go near mint on that one. And uh, that's really a near mint box. It's about all you can expect. That one's gonna fall down. It's all you can expect, really, for models this old. Here is a matchbox, number 22, Grand Prix. I got some spotting here. Could be some mold. Beautiful on this side. And let's see how the piece looks. Awesome. Very awesome. Let's see. Now, one of the things you'll notice on these is that some of them, the doors will pop open. Like that. You know, I, I don't know why I drop the cars all the time. I don't do it just for fun. It just happens because I'm staring at the phone, trying to think about what I'm going to do. And uh, just too many things going on. What do we decide on that box? Yeah, near mint. And always, whenever you're, if you're going to put your cars straight up and down like this, make sure you don't put it on the trailer hitch. That would not be good. 26. 26 GMC box near mint all right and again another beautiful 26 GMC the models are beautiful the models are beautiful all right number 18 all right number 18 caterpillar McGregor's five to dollar store 55 cents on this one 
beautiful shape on the box that's nice and look at this got the number 18 caterpillar and the treads are still soft that's very unusual the treads are still soft look at that she's a beauty she's a beauty one in a million girl all right number 35 the snow track snow track this box crease and a crease here and so we'll throw that into the excellent pile but look at that oh dear well that's not good there's a bit of corrosion on here a bit of corrosion on there and uh a little dusty and the treads are worn dried out but not to fear oops not to fear i have some reproduction treads to put on here those are just all worn out that might i don't think that'll come off Brush. Hey, where's all the brushes? No, it's just a little spot of corrosion on there. Yeah, a little dusty. Yeah, so, well, still nice piece. We'll put that in the near mint. That's the only near mint model we have so far. Excellent, something like that. Everything else has been mint so far. Just got that one piece of corrosion on there. Well, this is nice. Beautiful Opal Diplomat. Beautiful Opal Diplomat. Number 36. How's the box? How is the box? The box is... It's got some spots. Got some fraying. And got a hole in it. So we're going to have to go into the excellent pile on the right. Next one up, 37, 37 cattle truck. That's a nice box. Hopefully the cattle are in there, they haven't gotten away. Nope, no cattle, no cattle. Well, I've got some extra cattle, but there's no cattle in there. That's only the third model that's gonna make the mint pile out of all these so far. Number 40, the trailer. Let's see what she's missing. Oh. It does have her rails on. The tires are there. Of course, the tires are going to fall off. That's what tires do. And the box is minty. Minty condition. There we go. Number four of the lot in minty condition right there. Next one up is the Matchbox refrigerator truck. This one in a mint box. And, of course, a mint, minty piece inside. Look at that. With the little door on the back refrigeration unit on the front but that doesn't function it does not function there we go 47 next one up and let's see what do we got here we got a little line here otherwise real nice geez it's kind of on the cusp of being a mint box it does have that one stain on it look at that nice and beautiful light colored top that is a beauty all these models are beautiful but the most important thing is the condition of the box. That is a nice box. No creases, just that one little bit staining. I'm going to go ahead and throw it in the mint minus pile. What the heck? All right, next one up. Beautiful box. And a beautiful unit. This one with the full chrome base. They also make it with like a half chrome base. Uh-oh. There's a little bit. Uh-oh. My fingernail. There's a little tiny bit of uh, paint loss there, keeping it from being a full mint. A couple more chips on there. So I have to go near mint on this guy. Near mint on this guy. Not a full mint model. All right. Whoa, here we go. Uh, with the, this is a very popular model. Look at that, that's unfortunate. A box like this, I'll probably take this out, fold it down and iron it a little bit flatter. Let's see what's all in here. Got all the, all of the little guys in there. Look at that beautiful truck with all four little doggies, little dogs. They just go in the back there. Little kennel truck. I don't know how they go exactly. Like that. You got your dogs in there. Ooh, don't let the dogs out. There's actually a little slot in there for the dogs to go in 
I don't, it's kind of a little thing in there. You can see it. Can you see it? All right, let's put that. I don't know how they're supposed to sit exactly. Oops. Silly little dog. You know, they all have this point. Is the point supposed to go towards the middle? I don't know. It's complicated. Let me put the top on. I never can do this right. No wonder the thing doesn't fit on there. The dogs are too big. There they are. <laughs> All right, there he is. And the near mint box. Uh, excellent box. Is that going to be? Ah, look at that. It's got some staining on there. Hmm, that's too bad. Excellent box. Okay. We do get a matching pair of tractor and trailer. That is nice. Hopefully they're not used. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful tractor. Beautiful tractor. Near mint box. The beautiful tractor inside. And the tipping trailer together with the barrels. Oh, this one gray wheels on the trailer. Okay, we'll have to match that up with a gray wheel tractor. To match it up with a gray wheel tractor. Whoa, if I can. Alright, hold on, hold on everybody. Here we go. Back in the box. Hard to keep everything on the screen. On the screen. Here we go with the number 55. One of the better models. More popular. Look at that. She's a gorgeous, gorgeous car. And let's see the box. Yep, yep. Beautiful box. Got a little bit of bend to it here, but that's okay. But that is a nice box. Got a couple of stains on it, but it is a beauty. That's a beautiful box. And another, look at that. This makes it all worthwhile when you get some of the better models. This box has some staining on it. Not too bad. And the model inside is perfect. Oh, no, there's a little flaw there. I think it's just a little black paint rub. But that is gorgeous. Look at that. That's an old one, too. Look at that with the... Everything in this collection was a little bit older than normal has the decal on there. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous police car. Yep. Next one up, the Daft Girder truck, near mid box, no staining. Yeah, light staining, couple spots actually there, spot there. Rubber bands are gone on there. And it's a little spot on the roof there. Might clean off, otherwise quite nice. And the girders, the girders. It's a girder truck. Look at all these girders. I think I got a bunch of girder trucks. You can't even see the girders, can you? Now they're down here. Can you actually put them together? I guess you can. Hmm. Can you make something out of a girder? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think you just have to deliver them to the work site and call it good. Now that I'm making a big mess. Oh, look at this matchbox. Greyhound bus. I always thought the Greyhound bus should be the most popular matchbox of all time, but it's not as popular as you'd think, but look how beautiful it is. Then again, it's hard to tell with matchbox because, you know, you only need one of each one. There's no multiple colors or anything. This one could use just a hair of, of ironing on the end there, and then it'll be a nice near mint box, but I have a lot of Greyhound buses in stock. Crease on this one. Exploration, let's see what we've got. Probably a decal model. Yeah, it's an early decal model. This one, a little dusty inside, might have been sitting out on display or something. But uh, it's got a teeny bit of wear to it. Teeny bit of wear that probably clean up right there. So, more in the near mint of the models. I've only got three near mint models out of the lot so far. Everything else has been pretty much mint condition. This box has got some wrinkles to it. Needs to be ironed a little bit. You can iron a box. Let's feel this. Okay, this one's good. It's not sticky. A lot of these, this particular model, end up being tacky, the paint, after all these years. For some reason. Now let's check the doors. Doors operate well. So that's a nice mint model. A nice mint model. We have going good so far on the condition of the models. This box, this one's pretty rough. We got wrinkles. Rink creases, fraying, 
Not great. But look at the model. Perfect. One little chip on there, but they come out of the factory. Most Matchbox out of the factory have at least one chip on it because they were all hand handled. Hand handled. Hand handled. Next one up, 67 Volkswagen. A beautiful box on this one and a beautiful model. A little dusty. This is a very popular model. Cannot even keep this guy in stock. It's so popular. That is a good one. That's one of the top models in the collection so far, along with the police cars. Here we've got the Grit Spreader. Grit Spreader is actually a beautiful model. Look at the color on that. I love the Grit Spreader. This comes in either gray or black. It's the only variation I know of. This yellow can vary the color. And the box is near mint. Got Sprouts Wright stickers on there. 79 to begin with, 57 on sale. A little fraying on the edges. But beautiful on the front here. This is what everybody looks for. A nice pair to set up nicely. And let's see, 69. 69 Hatra. Bend in the box there. Nice face. Got to have at least one per beautiful face on a box. Look at that. That's a beautiful model. Beautiful model. Because you want to display it and you want to have at least one nice. You know, if you got a spot on one side, well, that's okay because you can't look at both sides. So just like that, one side is fine. 75 Ferrari Berlinetta, that's an empty box, which is a nice empty box, however empty. 71, it's a heavy wreck truck, heavy wreck truck. Look at that gorgeous thing. Mm. That is a beauty. Heaviest model made. 69, 70, 68, something like that. And the box is gorgeous. Wow. That's a home run right there. That's a beauty. Knock it out of the park. One super fast in the lot. One super fast. And it is a Mercury wagon. Mercury commuter wagon. A nice one. Mercury commuter wagon. Now, of course... What's better than Matchbox regular wheels? The ones we just looked at, well, earlier ones. That's what's better. And here we got a Matchbox series. This is the D box in the series A through F. Let's see what's inside. Oh, gorgeous. Look at that gorgeous little truck. I'm loving that one. That's my favorite. I love this one. Love it. Box is not good. Missing a flap. Got 49 cents written on it in pencil. I'll take that all day long. I love that little yellow model. I love that. I love it. 62 Jaguar. Wow, this is a popular hot model right here. So when I was checking the collection, I did not look at every box. I just looked at the key pieces like this Jaguar. Not mint. Got one little chip on there, but it's not a play chip. It is a factory chip. And you can always tell. You've handled this many times. As I have. Well, there you go. There's a playware. <laughs> dropping her down. Dropping her down. What's this one? 24. All right. 24 in the black wheel. Excavator. Mm, very, very nice. Very, very nice. 31 Ford Station Wagon. Another key piece in the collection. Oh, look at that gorgeous thing. Ooh, yeah. Basically, when I looked at the collection, I said, yep. Uh, yep, and police cars, yep, and I'll take it. I'll take it. How much? I'll take it. I will take that collection, not to the bank, but back to my house. Back to the house and the trains. All right, and here is a Coca-Cola truck, number 37, with black wheels. Oh, that's a beauty. Brand new. Look at that box. Look at that. That is a gorgeous set right there. Coca-Cola truck. Pontiac convertible, how much better could it get? Oh, look at that. Yellow with the silver wheels. And the red base. Look at that thing. That thing is superb. Yes, yes, yes. Give me that collection. I want that collection. It's got a 39 in it. And a 43. 43. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous model. In a D-box. What a beautiful D-box. I got a... It's my favorite collection is the D boxes. My favorite boxes are the Matchbox Series Art Box. Oh, look at this terrible box. 63. Oh, but look at the model inside. Maroon with silver wheels. Beautiful. 
Got a little bit of light wear on that. Might be box wear though. It's not bad though. Can you see it? Very light. Very light. Very, very light. All right. 57 Chev Impala. Chev Impala with 1959 written on it. It's a silver wheel. Yay. With the blue base. Yay. That's a hard one, I think. Got a little bit of rub on the high point there. But she is gorgeous. Look at that. How can you not love that? You cannot not love it. You cannot not love it. You cannot. Yes, right. You cannot not love it. Let's take the 58 out of the box and see if the treads are good. 58 in green. This one with the silver engine, the harder one. Let's try the treads. Oh, the treads are still soft. That's unusual. Very nice. Very nice, mister. There we go. That is, look at how pretty that is. Oh, come on. You know, you might not collect these now, but maybe now that you've seen all these, you'll want to collect some. They're so fun. You got to have at least some Matchbox in your collection just for the heck of it. Not everybody you show your collection to knows about Hot Wheels. Some of them had Matchbox when they were kids. Here is the Builder Supply. Got a little flaw in the decal. Look at that. I remember getting one of these. Back when I was a child, back when I was riding my Stingray bike around from phone booth to phone booth to newspaper box looking for the coins in the coin return on my Stingray. All right, here is the 71 Jeep pickup. This is a neat, neat model. Look at that. That is so neat with the doors that open. Yep. Good doors on there, wing doors. No, there it is, 71. What else? One more in the Matchbox regular series, and it is the 29. That box is chewed up, chewed up, you can see. And here it is, though, the beautiful model with the Denver decal on the side. They come with it or without it. The Denver this decal. Hmm. The rest of the collection is a variety of Models of yesteryear. Can you focus over there, Dave? All right. Rest of the collection has got a couple of mini Lindberghs, fire engine, dump truck. We've got some yesteryears. Yesteryears. I think we'll just do another video on the yesteryears starting now. All right. That's all for this video about all these beautiful Matchbox models. Figuring out most of them are about in the near mint box wise. Out of all of these, only uh, looks like seven or eight of them, maybe 10 had mint boxes. The rest of these like a near mint boxes over here. Over here, some excellent boxes. These were the only, let's see, these were the four that need had a little bit of wrinkles to them that could be ironed out. And then only three of the models were not pretty much mint. So that's good. That was a good collection. Thanks for joining me for this beautiful video on an early Saturday morning about 5 a.m. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And give me the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Leave any comments below. I can't answer every comment, but I will give it a shot. And, of course, you can always come over and see what I've got for sale at www.toycarcollector.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.